open this. I check this out. Oh, yeah. That'll polish up real nice. Piece of cake. <laughs> A.M. Dealing with the Jeep throttle position sensor or um, crankshaft position sensor. Turns out I got the wrong one. I think I ordered one for a TJ or something. Either way, it doesn't clip on. And so I tried to splice my own. Still didn't work. And I'm not going to chop up the $100 one. I'm going to try to return it. Um... So I tried to create my own with the one that was already connected to it. No luck. Jeep won't crank and I'm not getting any power to the neutral safety switch. I'm not sure what that's about. It may or may not have to do with that. Either way, if I'm going to have to hassle this wiring, I'm reliving my nightmare with the Miata. <laughs> So stupid, I think I know what's wrong. I can't find. Ah. Like, I'm sure I kept all of them, I just don't know where they are. And <laughs> got the Jeep she needed a um, slip yoke eliminator and at the time like I had never worked on cars before and I remember how like proud and yet terrified I was to take the transfer case out and then especially putting back in like I remember laying up underneath it and putting it in like deadlifting it in and I was like man I'm a mechanic like look at me <laughs> and now uh, it's child's play the plate keeps hitting this thing that's sticking out, and I can't, can't get past that. Uh, please don't tell me I need a different one, please.
thing is so stupid complicated. Just screw on. There we go. Okay, I think that's good. Well guys, after trying literally everything, I am happy to report that I have discovered my uh, slave cylinder. That, my slave cylinder, it, um, you have to take it out to bleed it. I actually have to take it out, pull the piston out, and then I have to let the gravity drain down, and it's so stupid. It's not pre-bled, and I can't just pump it to bleed it, so... So I have to take it out again. That took a lot longer than I thought, and I definitely had a few choice words for that slave cylinder, but I think we're good now. I think I got it. I haven't fixed her completely yet, but she's fixed enough that if everything's working properly, I should be able to get her to drive forward without any problems. Right now, because I'm waiting on a couple parts still, not everything's bolted down. I wouldn't take it on the road. I just want to see if I can get it to move. So this is like still a really big moment. She has not moved in months. Like since I parked her here, For the last few days since I've been uh, doing YouTube, I've been watching Helmet Hair do her live stream. So basically ever since I've been working on the Jeep for the last few days, she's been doing a live stream like every night. So it's always conveniently as I'm working on the Jeep, she's doing a live stream. So I've been keeping her updated. I'm like, I've been working on the Jeep. She's pretty cool though. She um, She's a stunt driver and she does drifting. She has a 1JZ Swap 350Z. And I've never seen anyone actually 1JZ swap, but I'm a sucker for inline sixes. I love the inline six engine design. I mean, the four liter in the Jeep, it's bulletproof. So it's, it's honestly, she has a super sick car. Um, she has a YouTube channel. I'm going to put that in the link in the description. I try to watch her videos when I have the time, but go check out her YouTube channel. She does some really cool stuff, and I think that's it. She is practically done. I just need to tighten a couple of things down, wait for my last part to come in, and she's solid. Tucking a couple of things in. Other than that, I mean, like, that's it. We did it. Really hope nothing bad happens from there. That'd really stink. That is so cool. Ah, uh, it's raining today. I gotta hurry up with this. Before I end this video, I just want to give a few thank yous to some amazing people who actually helped me while I was working on this Jeep. First of all, I want to thank my cousin Caden Martin. He actually supplied the song in this video and he didn't know I was going to be using this. There's this little app he told me about. You can make your own songs and so he's been playing with that and he sent me a couple songs and so I decided to use one of those songs in this video and I think it went together really well. So thank you for that. Sorry if I butcher these names by the way, but the second per person I want to thank is Joey Barnard, he actually supplied me with the transmission for the Jeep. And he also supplied me with the transmission lift I've been using this whole time. And it was brand new out of the box. He hadn't even used it himself, but he let me borrow it completely for free. So that was extremely helpful. Thank you so much. Christopher Fitzpatrick, he actually supplied the transmission mount bracket for the Jeep. And he gave it to me for almost $100 cheaper than I would have paid on eBay. He's also sending me the transfer case linkage the shifter right now and that's the last part I'm waiting for he gave me that for a discounted price as well so that was super helpful I wouldn't have been able to afford it if he wouldn't have done that Jeremy Spiegel gave me the column for the Jeep I actually had to order a new steering column for the manual transmission because I broke the automatic one and it just wasn't supposed to be for a manual transmission but he supplied me with that also at a discounted rate which was extremely helpful on saving money on this project and Fallon Stevenson with Honcho Fab who actually gave me multiple tips and advice. I messaged him so many times just asking him what I was supposed to do with this and he was extremely helpful in just giving me advice and giving me tips and helping me 
figure out what it was I need to do to get this thing back on the road and get started. So thank you to all those amazing people for helping me with this. She is this close to being back on the road. I only need to bolt down a couple more things. As soon as I get that new part in, she might actually be roadworthy in the span of a few maybe a week a few days i'm super excited but i'm getting rain on my camera so i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching this video and i'll talk to you guys soon